what colour is it? It's dark, grey or brown, I'm not sure, but it's big, and it's somewhere in my storage unit. Can you send it in? OK. We'll be there shortly. Thanks, bye. That's it there, number 24. OK, well, I've called to this premises here as a business. A guy came into work this morning, and he opened the door, he saw a snake. And it was quickly slithering through, and he basically crapped himself and ran out, but luckily he shut the door and he's refusing to come back until we've searched the place. And he said it was like a blacky brown colour. And, and fair, fair, fair size as well, so... Um, apparently the door's open but not locked. So, let's just have a little look here. Just be careful, guys. We don't know what snake it is. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. So look good stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, jeez. Um... He saw it. Half hour ago? About half an hour. About half an hour ago, basically. So it's fairly soon. Um, but in this area, we get a lot of uh, brown house snakes, which are harmless, but we also get a lot of Mozambique spitting cobras. And you get black mamas. So I think just err on the cautious here side, because if there's a spitter in here, and amongst all this stuff, it's very easy to get spat in the eyes. You need to be extra careful. No, no. Put those on. I'm not going to take any chances. Um, Grab a torch. Why don't we start in this corner here? Um, I've got to be really careful. I'm really um, anaphylactic with spitter venom. So if I'm spat at and it goes to my chest, my throat, it wants to shut up and close. So she ends up in hospital, basically, <laughs> which weeks. is not what we need. Right. Um, so yeah, if it is one, just get out of the way and let me deal with it. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So goggles on. Yeah. James, cameraman, put those on, please, just till we know what we're dealing with. Kenny, you're right. You got sunglasses. Yeah. Okay. All right. right watch where you tread. Guys. Yeah. Just bear with us a few seconds, guys. Just. So we Try and locate this thing. You right there, Sue? I'm going to go down here. I'm just here. going to do a quick squeeze, and then we'll start eliminating, don't you think? Yeah, it could be anywhere. God, this is full. It's hard to see, actually. So much stuff, you know that. Yeah, there's a lot of nails in that wood, so okay. don't stand on it. Oh, it's going to take forever. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I don't really want to start having to move all this stuff out of the way. Let's try and look under here. You didn't say where it, like, direction or anything? Often when a snake... No, he didn't say anything. He said it went in. He ran. Often when a snake comes into a building like this, they'll, they'll go to a corner or the edge of a wall. You don't normally find them sitting in the middle of the floor because they're vulnerable. So it's probably gone into a corner somewhere. Trouble is, with all this stuff in here is not making things very easy. And if it's gone into something like this, it could be here all day. So. Uh, uh, I can't see anything there. Let's go that side. I can't get through, really. Did you check in that frame? I've, I don't, yeah, I've checked I've done there. briefly under here. Just yeah. If not, I don't find him there. I'll phone, phone him back and just ask him where he last sort of saw it. I've got a little... I'm going to check this room, Simon. I'm going to check this small room because I just want to eliminate it. Yeah. Well, I can't see anything down there. Could be anywhere. Um. Well, if... If it's a cobra, the chances are it'll be on the floor. I've checked that little room. There's nothing in there. I can't see anything. All right. Let me have a look under here. I can see I can you. See Hello. You, yeah. <laughs> you with no snake? Yeah, I need to find snake. Oh, Simon, jeez, I just said that. Oh, oh. A rat, yeah, not a snake, not a snake, a rat. A rat? A live rat? No, 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 dead. It's it? just been killed. Oh, God, I've got my head up. Let me okay. get out of here, there's nothing under it. Oh, this um, basically could mean one thing. It could, oh. if we find, if a snake finds a rat and it's a constrictor, like a house snake, we're thinking it might be a safe house snake. So, but look. They would constrict it and eat it, they would never leave it. Yeah. It's only venomous snakes that would bite and then leave their prey to die. So, this has either died naturally, but this looks quite a healthy one. Is that so, fresh? Is that fresh. smelly? No, it's, it's fresh. Is it warm? It's literally just been killed. All right, well, that changes right. things a bit. All right, well, if that was a constrictor, it would have held on to it more than likely. So... So watch your, and watch your right. feet. Everyone, watch, I don't know, it might be around here now. OK, guys, it's probably something venomous. If that's just died by the sound of it, I haven't felt it, but Susie says it's warm. Check, look, there's a gap right under there. I'm wondering if it's bitten it and gone so to there, look, under this... Could be a cobra, could be is. a mamba. Oh, I've looked that side, I didn't see anything. 
Should we, Simon, I know you don't do methodical. Should we start in one section now? Start this end. No, I've done this bit up to no, here, but, well, pretty, but without moving all that lot. No, that's I'm what I'm not saying. Keen, so let's let's go do like this that end. end and then move everything from here down there. Let's just work our way. This yeah. bit's the emptier bit, so I'd want to do this here. bit. Quick look here. I can always get the inspection cam. No, not yet. Let's just have a quick scoop up that end. Okay, I'll get in there. And this pipe here, snake love pipes. There's a hole the in the bottom of this cupboard. Mind here. Careful, guys. Okay, there's nothing in there. <clears throat> in this cupboard, no. Have you looked under the couch? No, I haven't been there yet. Thanks. Everybody stand still, please. I can smell mine. Just here. Can you? I've got rubbish nose today. It's blocked. Basically, black mambas often give off a, 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 a... It's like a pheromone, a smell, especially if they've been disturbed um, or interfered with. It comes out of the cloaca, the back where the tail is, and they secrete this funny smell. And if you don't know snakes, you would never pick it up, but because we do this thing all the time, I can smell black mamba. That changes things. I'm pretty that sure cupboard? that is a black marble. Oh, it's done a big poo. I'm taking them off. If Did you want to you take your glasses off, you can. If you're steaming up, because I'm starting to steam up. I've checked there, yeah. Well, where do you smell it here? Here. I can definitely smell. It's like a rubbery smell, like a, a sort of burning rubber smell mixed with sort of like a bit of feces. It's not particularly pleasant, but it's not. Give me that. Loads of boxes. Wait, 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 wait. There we are. Told you it was here. There. There's a black marble. All right. I can smell wow. it. Can you smell it now? I can, I can, smell, I can it. smell it. Yeah, it's big, big, strong smell here. Just in this corner. Oh, he's moving. He's, he's moving. moving. Okay, well, we that's fine. We know where he is. Grab the tongs quick, Sue. Yeah. He's sat there at a minute, but he's starting to move off. Okay. Check down there. See, coiled up behind that box and whatever this is, bit of wood here. You see his head yet? No. I don't know which way around it is. All right. At least we know we'll know what it is and where it is. No wonder he got a fright. <laughs> Poor guy probably hurt <laughs> himself and legged it. I would. Um, Shame, and he's on his own as well. You come to work in the morning, the last thing you need is to be confronted with that thing. Right, okay, I think what we'll do, do you want to hold that just for a sec? So I've got my hands free. Let's just move this lid. Watch your hands. Yeah, he's behind, he's happy there at the moment. The thing with mambas is to do things slowly as possible. They don't like fast or sudden movements. If you go like, at it like a bull in a china shop, you're just gonna ask for trouble. All we want to try and do is just slowly move these things out of the way, they've got sharp nails too. And then, just slowly pull it out without stressing it out too much. What I'll do, Sue, I'm going to move one more, but leave the end one so it can't go that way. No, I agree. Let's move that out of the way. What tall that is, that's the middle, isn't it? Let's just move that one as well. Right. A bit more light there, Sweets. OK, here he goes. Just move. I think I'm just actually going to pull him out. Just be ready with the tongs, because I don't know where his head is. Come here, you. No, I think end. I've got the tail here. You've All got right. the tail. Let's... Can you hold that there? Yeah. There's not a great deal of room, I know. Stay there. I don't know how big it is, but I'm guessing it's... Oh, no, 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 that's the head. Is that the head? Wait. The oh, left that's... is the head, I think. About seven, eight feet. Going right over there. Where's your leg? Um, move that picture. Right, OK. Now he's upset, OK. Let's I can't just... see where... Oh, I can see him. Right. Where is he? Oh, he's going fast now. Where, where, where? He's going right in the you. back of this corner. Um, Where's the head? I don't know. It's gone that way. Let me move this out of the way. Where is he? There we go. Okay, yeah, now pass, pass Sorry. On. Okay, just wait. There he is. You get tongs out. He's disappearing, so I can't get tongs in there. No. Yeah. Where's his head? I don't know. I'm going to hold it by the tail. Okay. Right, can you just watch out? Yep. Grab there. Yeah. That's it, quick. Okay, exactly. Guys, just stand back a bit, give us a bit of room. I need to go higher up. Let's pull this thing to slightly back. Go. I'm going to let go and go higher up. I've got it. Go. Go again. Yeah. Not very good position. Too much stuff in the way. You got it? I'm good. I'm good. Just pull it back this way. Mind your feet. You're stuck in. There we go. Oh, there. there you right, go, Jiggy. Okay, right, let's just deal with it. <laughs> if you actually look at the top of the snake, yeah, it's obviously got the toilet. That's the smell I can smell. And there's a little bit on its skin. We must have pooed in the corner there or something. Just hold it. Is that a mark on him? Is he all right? Yeah. No, it's fine. OK, look. I'm going to do that way. You have to hold it up. <laughs> Can you? I'm going to go in my other hands. Okay. Yeah. You're right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll go for it. Okay, Sue, just hold it. I've got it. I've got it now. Okay, just release it. Okay. All right, you got it? Yeah, I've got it. Okay, you're all right now. Okay. 
I'm letting go. Let go, yeah, you can. Okay. One well, black mamba. That's the smell. If you look here, guys, just hold it. If you see here, it's actually gone to toilets. It's still wet, and that's that's the smell I could smell when we got into this corner, which gave it away. It wasn't a spitting cobra. I'm quite glad because Susie's really bad with spitting right. cobras. Situations like this make me realise if that guy never had seen it go in, he'd have been working here, grabbing a box, grabbing that box, yeah, and could put his hand right on it. So you know, we've saved a life and we've saved a snake. So yeah, it's that's brilliant. great. It's a nice one. We'll make sure. Goes somewhere much more suitable. Right, if you want to hold that, I'll yeah, grab the bag. Yeah, yeah he's quite, right. yeah, he's, no, I'll tell you, he's jerking If you just go and get me a pillowcase, I'll do it all here whilst I'm not going to move. It's easier. Show me the left bit to this angle. Like that. Yeah. It's a real pungent smell I'm smelling now, because it's scared. They're very scared of people, these animals, and they're not really the monsters they're made out to be. Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, but um, it's very highly strung. And in the wrong place, the wrong time, you go and put your hand or foot somewhere, get bitten, you're in big trouble. Oh, so, you can smell it, yeah, it's really it's strong. It's all over my leg. Oh, nice. It's nice, right here. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Put my arm in there. So, Watch yourself. this is the dodgy bit for me. Oh, he's Ooh, really getting. Really Do you see how much they can contort their heads? I mean, you think you've got it safely, and it can contort its head left and right, even in opposite direction from the top jaw to the bottom jaw. It's how flexible the jaws are. That's why they're able to swallow such big prey. Um, so this bit for me now is the super dangerous bit where I've got, I've got to get it in this pillowcase uh, without any of those fangs touching my fingers. And you're or, back to front, aren't you? And yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually, I normally have the snake in my left hand and do it the other way around. So it's like writing with your other hand. It's not so good, but anyway, it's what it is, and we've got to deal with it. And I don't actually have it that nice. No, I don't like your angle at no, all. No, I don't like my angle today. It happens sometimes. You go to grab them, they slightly move. I hold it really still. I am. I because I'm not in the mood for getting bitten by this thing. Okay, cool. Now, pass me tail. And then I, what I do is I grab the tail of my little finger, which is there, just to hold it, because we want to get into the bag. And we try and do it as quickly as possible. We don't like stressing the animals out. We really don't. Our interest is to save the snakes and save people. So once this is in here, it'll feel a bit more secure, but we can't let go of the head. The head's here at the moment. I can't let go of that head until Susie has actually got this tape on the bag. Yeah, I guess it's not real. You right? Yeah, I'll never just hold it in there. Sometimes the fangs go through, it's not doing it at the moment. I won't encourage it. it actually, sometimes they just release venom because they're afraid. You actually see venom shooting out sometimes as well. You right there? Yep. And these snakes, it's got enough venom here to kill around 15 to 20 people, no problem. One was even recorded bit an elephant and it died. So imagine how big an elephant is compared to a human. Good. Okay. Very, very dangerous. Excellent. Right, covered in, in a bag. You covered, covered in, in poo. poo. <laughs> right, you go shower. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take that? I'm yeah. not letting go till everyone's out of the way. If you, you guys just give me a bit of room, I'm going to take you straight to the car. Yeah. I'll come back and get the rest of the stuff. Cool. There we Excellent. go. There we go. I'll do this. Yeah, just grab the bag there. Yeah.